Good evening, David here in Altoona, Iowa, welcoming you back to Scale Models Midwest's workbench here for the midweek update. Hopefully this will be just a few minutes because I still have to take this kit upstairs and we'll start putting the decals on this evening before I go to bed. First thing I want to do is give a shop card shout out. I got one in the mail from uh, Jim Morris, Morris Customs Model Shop. This is his card right here. Jim, thank you very much for the kind comments on the back. I'm glad I've subscribed to your channel. You got some way cool builds. I'll put the uh, link to his channel in my description, Morris Custom Model Shop. Um, as you can see right here, he's got the, I believe this is the Tom Daniels Bad Actor. I showed in a previous video where I built the same kit, but in uh, Tester's Inca Gold One Touch Lacquer. I, I like that kit a lot. Um, very simple, easy to build kit. Um, so yeah, I, I like this. I like his little diorama. So. Uh, Go check this guy out, James Morris, Morris Custom Model Shop. Again, thank you very much for the comment there, Jim. Certainly appreciate it. This is definitely going up on my wall of fame. And, uh, well, this is my wall. And hopefully I can put some pegboard and stuff up so I can start displaying the shop cards that I'm getting. Uh, in addition, if you'd like a shop card, tomorrow I'm sending out another 10 or 15 shop cards to uh, people who have asked for them. I have plenty. I'll send everyone two cards. Uh, you've seen them in my video. Uh, just send me an email. My email's in the description. Love to send you out some cards. And also, if you've got a channel, um, let me know what your channel name is so I can sub to it as well. The Model Hobby is a very tight-knit group of people. Some have been around for years. I've only been around since the beginning of February. But the support that I've received and the inspiration I've received and really cool comments and compliments from people keeps me wanting to build kits. Um, so thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go here back to the kit. I'm just giving you an update on this. It's on all four wheels. Well, one's off. But uh, I wanted to show you something before I actually mounted those permanently. It took a lot of work. Um, I already told you about the rear end being off, and I had to really do a lot of surgery and adjustment on it to get it to fit. The front end, no problems. You know, I just took my time got it together and it's fine um, sets on all four it's level I use the uh, I think at Lucas C talked about the pennies I use them on the bottom of the chassis to set the ride height and uh, just went together nice and neat so that was good I'm not gonna glue the body to the chassis because I'd like to take the body off and show it um, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that reason being is my daughter saw this likes it and if you saw in a previous video one of my first videos there was a pink metallic Camaro that my daughter built she helped me paint it and it's on her shelf proudly displayed among her dolls she wants this one on her shelf so who am I to argue with my daughter she loves the kit as it's coming together so far so I when I put together the decals and get it all buttoned up I'm going to give it to her. She's going to put it up on the shelf and display it among the other Camaro and a 57 Chevy she's got. And of course her American Girl dolls. So, you know, hey, she's a girl at heart, but she likes cars like her dad. So, again, it gives me an incentive to build another kit, which is great because this is a really, really good kit. Uh, in spite of the issues I had, which were caused by me and not by the kit, it still went together really well. I still like it not going to complain about it. But anyhow, I just wanted to point out one thing. Of all people, Jim Rogers from Salvino's JR uh, made a comment on one of my previous videos. The mounting brackets for all the suspension pieces, they're called out in the instructions as semi-gloss black, and he pointed that out, just reminding me, and I'll remind you, semi-gloss black, not white. I could have sworn, I remember hearing Lucas C on his video saying, he was painting his white, and that's what I did, because this is all white. But anyhow, follow the instructions. That's one thing I didn't do in a couple of areas, and that's why I paid the price with that rear end not going together like it should have. But still, again, good looking kit. I'm definitely gonna build another one. Uh, the next kit I've got, hopefully Saturday, when I give you the final build on this one, showing you the decals, um, which, by the way, I'm not going to clear this one. I'm just going to put the decals on, like Jim Rogers suggested. The uh, next kit, I'll give you a little bit of an update on it. It's the 
Ron Keslowski Dodge Charger, but um, it's just so far I've just done very basic, you know, putting together stuff on it. But I'll show you what all I plan to do with it. But before I go, I wanted to mention um, a comment that I got on one of my videos about a week ago from someone who, and I can't find the comment now, but I just wanted to address this. I was talking about how we go through building a kit and we run into some trouble, whether we've caused it or if the kit itself is missing parts or they're warped or they're not going together right. And we get discouraged, walk away from the kit, do something else for a while, come back and have a clear head when you put it together. This person commented, they just threw theirs away. Now, I don't know if they meant that they were throwing away this new next-gen Camaro kit or if they were throwing away another kit. But I can't say you're wrong for doing that. I can say I've done that. I've thrown away kits when I was like 8, 9, 12 years old because the kit didn't go together the way I was hoping it would. I'm using bottle paints to paint the body. Uh, my dad never taught me how to spray paint a model body. He really never sat down and built model kits with me. My grandfather did. I built kits with my friends, but when I saw some of their kits looking good and mine wasn't, well, I'd get discouraged and I'd smash the kit to pieces or, you know, at the time I was into model rockets, so we put two and two together. As long as the wheels were on metal axles, kind of glue a rocket engine to the back of it, fire it off. But I had quite a few models that met that demise. And then around the age of 13, 14, I'm still building kits. I started to build better kits. And I've been building better kits ever since. So all I can say is that it's okay if you get upset. And if you throw away a kit, I'm not going to say you're wrong for doing it. Everybody has done that. But instead of throwing it away, step away from the desk for a bit. Go and have a beer. Go outside for a walk. If you have a pet, play with the pet. If you have kids, play with the kids. Sit down on the couch. Watch some tube. Then come back with a clear head. Look at the kit. See where the issues are at and try and address them. Plus, with the model community that we've got, anywhere from tanks to planes, boats, trucks, cars, you name it, we're a forum. We can help each other get better at our kits because I think every single one of us can admit to getting upset enough for the kit that we threw it away or we put it in a box and stick it away in the deep dark recesses of our model kit stash never to be seen again so I just want to say if you throw away a kit it's all right I can understand why because I've been there but I would offer instead do what we've done as we get better with their kits. Walk away from it. Come back to it. And then try it with a clearer head. Um, it's worked for me, especially with this kit. Because again, the issues I've had with this kit were actually caused by yours truly. Not by the kit. It's a fantastic kit. It's just that I tried a few things and they didn't work. I believe I ran into the kit or knocked it when it was setting. And that's where I think I caused some of my problems. So... It happens. But I just wanted to mention that before I let you go. Because it's important to, you know, persevere when you're building a kit. These things, you know, they take time to build. And, I mean, we look at somebody like Chris from HPI Guys who can build a kit in two days. And I can build a kit quickly in two days. Is it going to look nice? I might be lucky, yeah. But, no. No. I don't think it will. I tend to take at least two weeks to build a kit. I've read many model car magazine articles where they said they built this kit over a period of six months to a year. And I can almost assure you those that are having those issues may have been really frustrated at some point in time building that kit. So just kind of keep that in mind. And with that, just keep enjoying the videos. Again, hit the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Warts and all, I will tell you, when I create problems of, of my own doing, I'll let you know if the kit's got problems um, and how I can work around it. So, 
know, stick with me on that, and we'll keep building kits. We'll keep having fun. And as always, if you see a kit out there that you like, go ahead and buy it, sit down and build it. And better still, if you've got kids, build it with them. Inspire someone to build in this hobby. And uh, if you'd like to show it off, send me some pictures. I'll post it on the video in the, in the future for you and give you a shout out. With that, we'll see you Saturday. Have a great rest of the week.